This is AJ from MBS Extreme. Uh, we thought we'd do a video today on uh, on a few of the uh, the problems that you may encounter, which are not really related to the magazine, but can be uh, various gun problems that can come up from either you having um, a new uh, grip fitted um, extractor ejector. These are a few of the problems that can kind of come up, and also with a new gun that uh, maybe is not quite compatible with a few things or needs a little bit of tuning. So real quick, um, let's run over it. So basically. Um, w one of the things that we seem to get a lot of um, emails and calls on is is, is what around uh, a, 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 it goes into the chamber and almost closes but doesn't close all the way. Um, so um, we're just going to touch on that. That's basically um, uh, I've got a gun here. Obviously, we've got some some ammunition that won't fire. I guess it's not ammunition because it won't fire, but we've got some dummy rounds here. So basically, what it is is the is the slide starts to go closed, it scoops the round, puts it onto the feed ramp, and then kind of gets up to that position and stuck, or maybe a little further. Um, but it gets kind of jammed up. And really what most of the cause of this problem is, is the round is trying to get un up underneath the um, extractor. So, um, and it's a little tight. So between the two angles, it needs a little bit of room um, to get up underneath uh, uh, the extractor and also um, there's an adjustment for the tension on that too. So if it's a little too tight, um, that can cause an issue. So the round gets up there, it almost goes, but it won't go all the way. Basically the magazine is presented around and the slide has come to, to scoop the round. So it's kind of done its job, but obviously it's a little tight underneath there. So, so you can adjust this. You can probably look it up on the internet on how to adjust it by bending it out. You can talk to your gunsmith. Um, but that's often the case. Sometimes with the new magazines and and uh, high spring pressure. Um, the very first few times you use them, because there's so much upward pressure, it slows the slide down and can cause a little bit of difficulty to get in the battery all the way. Depending on what kind of load you're running, depending on what kind of mainspring you're running. Uh, we recommend somewhere between a, a 10 and 12 pound for a 40 caliber, a, a five inch slide, um, if you're shooting a, a power factor type load. Um, and then for nine millimeter, um, probably anything between a, a nine and 11. Um, and you can go up from there a little bit, or you can start a little bit higher if you want a little number above those and just work your way down. But you need enough spring pressure to scoop it around and put it in and to overpower the um, extractor and make sure that everything goes in the battery correctly. So that's really um, more of a battery issue. Um, we also get some where where the round appears to, um, where the round appears, let me just make sure. Um, it kind of catches the round I'm going to see if I can kind of simulate it here. It's a little difficult. Uh, there we go. Where the, where the round kind of goes like that, where it starts to turn up. You see what, what kind of happened there. It goes up and it hits the top, and that's a jam. Um, again, really not a magazine issue. What, what, what I just created there was, a, was I, I put the slide. The slide didn't go back all the way. And what the slide basically done was it, it didn't go back far enough and it caught on the rim of the round on this part of the round right here and, and basically tried to scoop it and in doing so pushed it up. So that's more again of the slide not not going back all the way. Again it can be a power factor low where the spring's too much here and the slide's not going back enough. So so these are things to look at. Um, these are the type of jams that you might see but you can look at some other factors to uh, to actually uh, um, to try and resolve this. So so again, you can look at the um, um, extractor to adjust it, and obviously a spring adjustment for your for your slide in order to give it come back all the way, or maybe make the loads a little harder. Um, so uh, I think that's basically really what we want to look at with that. Um, well, we're going to address the magazine and the grip and the height of that on another video which is worth watching because so many grips out there, so many mag catches, a lot of people changing stuff and, uh, and obviously there's, there's some variances in that. So, so look out for that video and um, I think that pretty much ties up this one. All right, thanks again.